welcome to another episode of Magic with Miss Christine. Every other week, I'm going to be sharing with you some simple magic tricks that you can do with items you probably have at home. This week, we are going to be doing a simple disappearing and reappearing trick. As you likely know, magicians are known for making things disappear and reappear. Everything from a white rabbit, from a magic hat, or they can make things like people disappear or even cars. This week, we are going to make a toothpick disappear. This may not seem impressive, but let me tell you, this is a really neat trick and it's super easy to do. Okay, first I'm going to show you how the trick goes. As you can see, I have my toothpick in my hand right here and I am going to make it disappear. You may want to use your wand at this point or you don't even need that. But you might want to think of maybe another magic word. I'm gonna use Alakazoom this time, okay? I'm gonna count backwards from three and say Alakazoom, and this toothpick is going to disappear. You guys ready? Three, two, one, Alakazoom! And it's gone. It's not in my other hand either. Where do you guys think it went? Does anybody see it? Oh, there it is. Caught it right out of the air. Look, I made it reappear. Do you think I can make it disappear again? I sure can. We can even just blow it away and it's gone. Blow it back. There it is. Pretty neat trick, right? And guess what? I'm gonna show you how you can do it. Now, if you're all wondering, why is this magician telling her secrets? Well, as you know, I am first and foremost a librarian, and we like to share information. So I'm going to tell you how to do this trick. Okay? First, you need a toothpick. The other thing you need is something sticky. In this case, I used some scotch tape. My toothpick, while it appears to be gone in thin air, is actually hiding right behind my thumb. As you can see, I have one piece of scotch tape. I have it rolled into a loop so that it's sticky on both sides. You could also use double stick tape or if you happen to have a glue dot, which is a craft item often used, those work really great too. You're going to put your toothpick on your thumb before you do the trick so that the longest portion is pointing down towards your wrist. You'll want to test it out um, and make sure that it's hidden behind your hand like so. Otherwise it could be poking out a little bit too far this way or this way or even up top and then people will know right away where it is. Now this is how you hold your hand so that they can't see the sticky part of your thumb. Okay, so they can't see this tape right here. You're going to cup your hand like this around your thumb. You don't even have to touch your thumb. Just cover that part of your thumb. So your thumb is bent with the toothpick up and your hand like this. And then when you say your magic word, alakazoom, your toothpick has disappeared. But you know where it is now, don't you? Right there. This is a really easy trick and it's a really fun one. I hope you have fun showing your friends and family the disappearing and reappearing toothpick trick. Now, if you like magic tricks, keep in mind that the library has lots of books where you can learn how to do other magic tricks. And in a couple weeks, I will have another video in which I share a simple magic trick that can probably be done with things you have in your own home. Until next time, abracadabra. Okay, it's another episode of Magic with Miss Christine, baby version. <laughs> Show us the magic, lady. <laughs> it's pretty good, not gonna lie. Much better than any of my tricks. That smile's magic. <laughs>